in today's lecture we will learn about decision making and looping so it's basically decision making and then looping so what are they so normally what happens that when you describe some steps for any problem like say okay so we might have some kind of conditions and so first thing is decision making so we have to make some kind of decisions at many steps so like I'm going from one place and so there are three at the crossroad three different roads are branching out then again at these places some branchings are happening so what I need to do is that I need to have some conditions okay where do I need to go which is the smallest shortest path edge and so on so we have to decide at each step that okay which path we have to take so here so for that we have some kind of condition and the condition statement that is there in C is if so if is the keyword and we put a parenthesis so let's say that if we have some conditions like if x is greater than 0 this is valid we can have and or and not expressions also so if let's say that x is equal to 5 y is equal to 10 and z is equal to 14 so if we write if x is greater than 2 and then some condition and and y is less than 20 and z is greater than 10 so this condition is basically it checks if x is greater than 2 and y is less than 20 and z is greater than 10 and only if because it's and so in both the cases so only if all the three conditions are satisfied then this condition will be accepted so what happens is then we have a kind of bracket here and then we might make that okay printf the condition is true So this way uh, we can say that okay the condition is true and this is the expression so there will be if and some expression will be there and if it is true then it will go into this bracket otherwise it will go to this line so let's see and there is also something like else and another one is else if so we can have something like if expression 1 then do something body 1 else if expression 2 then the body of this body 2 else if something else so expression 3 so we have something and the default case else we have the body of default so this is the main way to express if else conditions and here expressions are evaluated as either true or false so this is about if else and else if conditions so let's say that okay we are considering on a number line this is 10 this is 20 and so we have this region this region and this region so we can write that okay if x is less than 10 so 
print f x is less than 10 else if x is greater than equal to 10 and x is less than 20 then print f x is less than 20 and x is greater than equal to 10 and else so now the case is so we can directly say with our with default that print f x is greater than equal to 20 so this is the case and we see here that it's all mutually exclusive so this is these are all separate regions and that's what we have to consider otherwise if say let's say we had something like if x is less than if i wrote 12 here and if here x is greater than equal to 10 and if i say that x is equal to 11 then it will again because x is less than 12 this will be initiated this will be checked first and it will print x is less than 10 so our expressions should be mutually exclusive otherwise whatever it is going from top to bottom and whichever condition is matching it will go into that block so this was about if else if and else block so now what we will see is the while loop so we will look at while loop so example the syntax is while the test condition so while some condition so body of the loop so this will be body will be getting executed till the expression is true so let's have one example so let's say that okay we want to print numbers from 1 to 10 so i will say that int i is equal to 1 and then while i is less than equal to 10 i will say that printf i is equal to percentage d and i and then i will do i plus plus so first time what happens is i is 1 so i is less than equal to 10 it will print 1 then it will do i plus plus it will become 2 now and 2 is less than 10 so 2 will be printed and it will go and i will become sometime 10 and 10 is less than equal to 10 so 10 will be printed and now i will become 11 so now 11 is not less than equal to 10 so it will exit so this is the while loop and next thing is just a variant small variant of this is the do while loop so i do do and then while some test condition so test condition so this way what happens is that one difference between while and do while is that at least this body is executed once without testing the condition so this way we at least get to execute the body once so next we will look into for loops and this is a very strong statement so simple for loop is like for 
initialization and then the test condition and then some increment or decrement so what happens and then we have the body so what does all this mean so this means that okay we are doing some kind of initialization so let's say we will do for i is equal to 0 so this is i'm initializing some variable and then i'm testing that okay is it now becoming how many times i have to execute the body so let's say i have to execute it 15 times so is i less than 15 so this is the test condition so what is the condition where i will stop and then increment of course i have to increment otherwise i will never become increment and it will be running forever so i plus plus and this is the increment this is the condition and this is the initialization so now i can say that okay just do printf percentage d and then i so what we will get is 0 1 2 3 and 13 and then 14 and it when i becomes 15 so this will not execute it will come out so but there are many other things which are also possible so this was one initialization way i can do it using another way which is i is equal to i plus one in fact you can increment by other ways also like i can do i is equal to i plus two 